Peace, what's up, y'all? I first want to say respect due to Fela Kuti. That man means so much to music, to the movement, to the struggle, and to the progress. We are celebrating his 75th birthday. I never got a chance to see him live. I wish I did, but I didn't. But I know I felt the music. I felt the music in many ways. I got to shout out my man, Tariq. Tariq tried a black thought. He the first person to introduce me to Fela Kuti when I was out in Philly recording with The Roots in the, in the mid-90s. Anyway, I learned a lot about Fela and his music inspired me throughout the years. And one of the most important songs for me, with so many great songs, one of the ones that touched me the most was called Water Got No Enemy. And one reason it did is, um, you know, me being a water sign, I was trying to figure what he was talking about with water. And, you know, what I got from the song was that water is very powerful. It's very powerful. It's, if you really appreciate it, then, it, it, then it, it is not your enemy. But it can destroy you, too. But um, it, was, it was something, that was my interpretation of the song. There was something strong in that thought. And I actually remade and used a version of that song on, on my album, Like Water for Chocolate. And had Femi Kuti uh, saluting his pops and saluting the struggle through singing on it. So I'm honored to be a part of this. I uh, want to say respect and love. God bless Fela Kuti so. And we're going to keep the, the mission and the vision alive, the struggle alive. Peace out.